This is Yone, and this is one of his most difficult mechanics. In this video, I'll show you 5 Yone combos ranging from easy to impossible. I'll share with you some secret tips on Yone's combos, and I'll try doing them in actual game. Attention gamers, you may have seen the video I was just watching made by a channel called Humpty whose recent videos make me think Mr. Beast met Dream on the Rift they made a little bastard baby and that baby is this man's recent videos as this dude's content is like the EpiPen to the otherwise smurfing broken builds bull snozzle content that gives me hives at this point. And while I could sit here and repetitively compliment someone on the internet who doesn't know me hoping they will acknowledge me, I know that would make me know better than someone who has ever entered credit card information on OnlyFans so instead, with this quote that I stole in mind, I hope your cheeks are pinker than a flamingo's pussy humpty because I want in on this idea. But the only difference is that I'm hard stuck trash and executing a combo like this could take me months so I had to put my own twist on the idea. This is Vagar. And this is one of his most difficult combos. In this video I'll share with you 5 tiny Dumbledore combos ranging from easy to still easy impossible and I will attempt to do them in real games. In making this video I spent a tremendous amount of hour trying to pull off each of these incredibly mechanically intensive combos and even pissed off more bad guys. Outside of not getting chat restricted for a whole game, this was the hardest challenge I've ever attempted in League of Legends. Let's start with the basic combo. Hagrid's Ballsack has an ult that can be tricky to aim if you're playing on an Etch-a-Sketch but luckily there's ways to make it easier. Clicking this flaccid arrow in the settings removes half the clicks in the combo and then you can do this shit called buffering where slapping that alt button out of range will make you walk to the bad guy hit the combo and then even fire off some minimis right after. If this combo is too difficult I'd recommend maining Yumi using League as a screensaver and touting an ELO 9 ranks above what you deserve and even though in the first game after pacing around behind a row of trees debating if I should piss now or hold it I landed it for the first time. But my moist groin making mechanical skill was tainted by two chains being all dramatic and dying in my highlight and I wanted it to be cleaner but this combo was proving to be harder than I expected when my next try after running right by the tumble twat like she paid me off to look the other way I was primed up erect and ready to crush it. Pulling off a combo like this definitely isn't for the weak minded and I knew I just had to put my head down and practice until it felt more natural. And then, after sleepless nights and calluses on the tips of my bagel bite smelling fingertips I did this. My hard work had paid off I felt like executing the combo to perfection was as simple as pushing a single key at this point and any wall hacking baggy skirted reaper who thinks he can just rob my hooded midget employees in their little ravenclaw robes of their gold is gonna learn firsthand about the power of this combo. I was getting so comfortable with the mechanic that I could add more steps to the mix like tapping tantrum tomatoes to launch me in for a surprise you a dead bitch flawless execution of the combo and it was starting to feel like I physically couldn't mess it up at this point. But the quest to show pure mastery of this combo wasn't going to be stopped by this steel titted twat so I had to put him in the pride pen before continuing my pursuit with the goal of pushing one button like I was born to do so knowing Chester the jester brought his bag full of tricks and wouldn't go easy. But easy rhymes with cheesy and I'm lactose intolerant so I quite literally could give a shit for easy regardless of how many tanks were going to crawl out of this clown's coochie purse nothing would stop me from pushing my alt key and laughing. The first combo required a whopping APM of 1 but the second is where we start to add complexity beyond what most ADC mains can follow as this requires using an item's active ability. Taking Predator embellishes your Nikes in a way that shoots a cocaine enema up your itty bitty asshole giving you a blood fart trail and a boost of speed to catch even the most mobile champs. Paired with your win fight button in this complicated combo will leave your enemies confused and not alive. I originally struggled with busting my nut before the benefit of Predator could take effect as the timing requirement of this combo is steep and games in my ELO are so short since everyone has the mental fortitude of a paper straw so I only got a few attempts every game but I stayed strong and eventually did this. <laughs> the 
There's an item in League that allows you to dash to a location and queef out three rockets and for a measly 32 hundo you can shove one of these self-propelling SpaceX dildos up your own a-hole and pair it with this chode wizard's win fight button to catch all sorts of unsuspecting shitters off guard. The idea was to pepper them up with the rocket queefs and then bust them down but nailing such an intense combo cleanly was proving harder than I thought as my first attempt required a little cue boy to do the finishing. The enemy Kane was always in a worse position than a raw cucumber at an all-female prison but as a league player I freeze up around chicks so this attempt just felt awkward. Then we had three of them sucking copium out of their tier 1 towers asshole and two of them were glowing like they were a knee joint in an arthritis commercial and I knew as long as I didn't bust my ult nut on the wrong one it would be a clean kill when I did this. My confidence was shot I was at an all-time low I was considering enrolling in Hustlers University it was so bad all my practice out the window I couldn't combo the moves together anymore it was like I could push one button but not a second it was like my alt key was a fat post asparagus piss but I was pee shy in front of a crowd. But I knew such mechanically intensive combo casters are just born like that and I just needed more practice and after countless seconds of doing drills, I was ready to do this. I had become a walking example of how anyone can put their head down hold their four leaf clover and push two buttons to one shot a slimy stupid as shit mermaid. So far we focused on three flavors of showing off Riot's superb game designed to its fullest capacity but before I was ready to put my brave big boy pants on and attempt the final impossible combo there was one more I needed to master. Baby Gandalf has a W that takes a grape into the heavens jerks it off to completion and then rains down the fruits of that hard to not imagine labor onto enemies. Skill shots moved me beyond the realm of my ADC abilities but I knew if I wanted to progress to the final combo I would need to master this and after only one game I did this. I had done it, mastered every intense combo that this champ has to offer chaining them back to back like an IV League school show off with a rich dad and a small dick complex but nothing could have prepared me for the final combo. A true master of evil knows no bounds to the world of chaos and can excel in the most disorganized situations, taking a series of steps that look like you are just mashing your keyboard until someone randomly gets one shot and turning it into something magical. I knew if I was going to hit random keys in seemingly no order I would be staying at the office late until I was comfortable with this final drum set solo that few had dared to attempt. And this is what happened in the next few games. <laughs> 